The results we have obtained so far are quite impressive. Overall, we have achieved our objective to optimize our process performance quite substantially. First measurements indicate that we have obtained a factor of 6 in performance improvements. This is a direct result of the extensive process analysis and design work based on ARIS which we have conducted throughout the entire project. On the implementation side, the fact that E2E Bridge uses standard UML has made the learning process extremely efficient, even though none of our engineers had prior UML knowledge. After one week training, they were fit to work on the project. According to my experience, it is simply impossible to achieve the same learning efficiency with any other software development approach. And in the end, keeping the models clear and simple has helped us to properly cut individual functions and services. It really helped to keep the discipline up and constantly think about reuse. One of the most impressive findings is that even though we have increased the number of layers in the architecture, we have not seen any performance decrease compared to before. This slide shows the daily performance profile on the machine running the E2E bridge. The average load is around 2%, which is impressive given that we are running Aris, Oracle and two Tomcat instances on the same machine. The cost for the server was only around 4,500 euros. In other words, the runtime efficiency of the E2E bridge has cut our infrastructure cost quite substantially. So where do we go from here? There are two elements which we are going to add over the next couple of weeks, and they will help us to do process lifecycle management in a closed loop. First of all, we will use the new EPC execution capabilities of the ARIS bridge to directly execute our process models and use ARIS EPCs as the exclusive source for all service orchestration. This is going to be a major step forward in terms of process lifecycle management. This means that we will not only be able to use the process models as a design inspiration. In the future, our ARIS process models will represent the complete application blueprint. A second element which we are going to add is KPI governance, which is also facilitated by direct EPC execution. It will allow us to define KPIs at process design time and use them at runtime to feed our management information systems in real time. From these enhancements we expect not only to gain control over day-to-day -day process efficiency and business performance, we will also get indications about where we can further optimize our processes and eventually some of these may even lead to new services that we can offer to our clients. In conclusion we can say that Recache Transformation Project has been a huge success and the methodologies we have established have set new standards within our organization. It's not just about new technology. We have also learned to work differently with each other and we finally found an effective way to align business with IT. Today we have a situation where the documentation is the code and we have complete, always up-to-date transparency top-down from process to application, understandable by business and IT. I'm really glad we kept an open mind from the beginning because after all, learning this new approach was very fast. Of course we made mistakes early on and had to improve over time, but this has gone really fast if you keep in mind that the entire application modernization effort took only 9 months from pilot to go live in several countries. The extensive use of models has dramatically improved the way we communicate between business and IT. Nowadays it's almost impossible to be misunderstood. And finally, we have the certainty that we implement the right thing, at the right place and in the right sequence. It's too early to give concrete measures as to how much we can accelerate change management now. But one thing is clear. We have definitely put everything in place now to make our business more agile. And process execution is a key element to make this happen. Well, thank you very much, Diego, for uh, taking us onto this interesting journey. I hope Diego's presentation has provided you with some inspiration to think about process to application using model execution in your own context. You will find more information on the subject on our homepage at e2ebridge.com. There you can also download a written case study about the interim recache project. If you want to know more about the ARIS Bridge integration, you can also contact e2e or IdeaShare directly. For any questions related to this presentation, please feel free to address those directly to my attention using the email chenn at e2ebridge.com. Thank you for listening and goodbye.